can you tell us why it is so important to work with fossil free material and, and have you found any hotspots? Yes, so if you look at the complete supply chain emissions, mm. then the largest share will be tooth raw materials. Mm -hmm. And in tooth raw materials, we have identified some clear hotspots, which are the steel and iron, the aluminium, the polymers like uh, plastic and rubber, and then we have components like electronic components. And for our immobility electrical range, we have the production of the batteries. So all those is where we focus and we make strategies and clear roadmap to achieve the 100% CO2 reduction by 2040. Mm. Sounds like we have to do a big effort together with our supply partners, right? Definitely. We cannot do it alone. We, we are part of an ecosystem with them. And not only the private sector, but also the public mm. sector. Uh, we have a clear example with the Swedish steel mill SSAB, where together with different partners, we managed to secure for the first time in the world mm -hmm. a fossil-free commercial vehicle with fossil-free steel. And is there any final advice to the purchasers out there? Sure, <laughs> I think everyone needs to understand that it's a matter of everyone doing that together, that it's a day-to-day -day mm. activity and that they need to engage our supply chain partners, asking questions, understanding their own supply chain, understanding the material they are using, and with that, build an action plan together, step by step, year by year, to achieve our targets. And not only will we be successful as an ecosystem together, but we will also shape the world we want to live in. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you, Andrea.